Hey everyone, it's Pastor Phil Janish, and welcome to our Sunday preparation meditation for this week. Have you ever heard the phrase, I love you to the moon and back? That's a very poetic way of telling somebody you love them a whole bunch. You see, that is about as far as we human beings have traveled, right? We have gotten people to the moon and back. That's one of the greatest achievements in human history. And even before we did that, you know, the moon is really far away. So saying, you know, I love you to the moon and back, very wet, poetic way of telling somebody you love them based basically more than anything. You couldn't love them even more. But guess what? God loves you even more than that. And he describes it in an even bigger way. God loved you before time began. God loved you before the creation of the world. That's how much God loves you. Listen to what God says about how much he loves you in Ephesians chapter 1, which is part of our second lesson for this Sunday. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. For he chose us in him before the creation of the world, to be holy and blameless in his sight. In love he predestined us to be adopted as his sons through Jesus Christ in accordance with his pleasure and will, to the praise of his glorious grace which he has freely given us in the one he loves. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, in accordance with the riches of God's grace that he lavished on us with all wisdom and understanding. Do you see just kind of how poetic and uh, exalted language that has? God loved you before the world began. He chose you to be his own, to be holy and blameless. And then that love that he had for you before the world began, before time itself began, that love he had for you, he demonstrated through history by sending his son Jesus to shed his blood, redeem you, and then adopt you in to his family to make you his child. How much does God love you? He loved you before the world began. God loves you that much. You know, that section talks about election and predestination, and it's a complicated thing and has caused a lot of division in the church. But let's just use the message how the Apostle Paul proclaims it to Christians. You are dearly loved. God loved you before the creation of the world. He chose you to be adopted as one of his children. And then he carried out that plan, that loving plan he had for you by sending his son Jesus and then sending the message of his son Jesus to you so that you might believe and be adopted as one of his children. That's how much God loves you. He loved you before the creation of the world. That's even bigger than to the moon and back. Come and enjoy being with your father who loves you in church this Sunday. Hope to see you there. Bye-bye.